Yeah, I saw a lot of the modifications that you have to your car. And yeah, it's not not much actually. Yeah, Just but some... they're noticeable. Like, did you did you plasti dip the wheels or did you get them? Oh, exterior mods. Okay, I did a couple. Uh, I just plasti dipped my wheels because they were they only come in silver unless you get mm -hmm. uh, I believe SS. Mm -hmm. um, and then the back lip. I like the lip actually. Now there's like there's a, a YouTuber his name's RP Productions. Um, he has a Camaro SS and he has that lip on his one LE SS. So I plastic yeah. it there, I'm like perfect. Kind of looks like it that. does look good. And then the does it? It kind of looks like you've smoked out taillights, but at the yeah, same, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. Was, You're reminding me of what I've done. It's really it's subtle. Fun. And then obviously you have the but, chrome, vinyl. The, and all of my reverse lights and all that stuff. So everything. Um, all the the red and orange strips those uh what are those the, the reflectors and stuff like oh, that yeah. they're all blacked out yeah everything a lot of things are blacked out on this car and of course my my silly evo spikes i it have looks up there kinda cool though. i like it i'm yeah. just like well it's a rally sport so mm -hmm. let's put some evo spikes and then you have the old school california license plate with the yeah with the, a carbon fiber cover yeah oh yeah dude you get good attention to detail there. <laughs> i forget i did all those things you just saying and um, as far as uh, in the in like performance, just a two. That's all I've done. That's all I've needed so far. Yeah. I'd like to do a bunch of stuff, but I mean, I'll do that if I, I'll do anything, any revenue I can make from YouTube, that'll go into this yeah. car. But not there yet. Oh, that's a big dip. All right, so that's rolling. Yeah, yeah that's rolling. It's, it's this is rolling. Cool. Good. Okay. Okay. Let's see this kid in road. Yeah. I mean, you were you were talking about how nice. It's crazy how this puts power down. It's such a solid chassis. Yeah. So it doesn't. This. Uh, they. I mean, this is the same chassis as they use on ZL1s and mm -hmm. stuff. So it's it's supposed to be able to take 650 yeah. pound feet of torque. If you could, so practicality wise, if you could have any model Camaro, so 1LE, RS, base model, oh, SS, 2SS, ZL1, 1LE, which one would you pick? Oh, if I could have any one? Yeah. Dude, so tough. like, well, don't just pick the ZL1 1LE because it's like the it's top. The top one. But I pick it as in practicality wise. And I would just own it, but I wouldn't have the lifestyle that comes along with someone who can afford that car. Yeah. So that means I wouldn't be able to afford much track days. Yeah. The ZL1 and a manual. Yeah, I'd probably. No, I like. The I'd 10 probably speed. take. I think that's cool. But I just. Oh man, I, I drove a SS1 LE. Mm -hmm. That manual is a lot easier to drive than this one. I'd have no problems doing that. I love the manual cars. It's just, if you're like a classical like car enthusiast, I feel like you have to kind of have the, the manual. But um, obviously if it's just like a daily driver, I feel like a lot of people would yeah. like to revert back to the automatic. Yeah, the 10-speed auto is like really good. Um, oh yeah. The one only transmission I like better than that one, as far as American transmissions, is uh, the, the Dodge one. The 8-speed in that? God damn, they shift quick. It's a ZF gearbox, so it's eight speed. Okay. And, yeah, then they put them all the way from the RTs and up. So all of those things have great autos. I don't like the eight speed in this car. I, I drove it, I'm like, should I do auto? auto? I clicked the paddle one time, no, <laughs> no. I can shift, this isn't even the best gearbox. It's, it's different than the SS and up, but I'm like, I can shift this thing way faster than that thing lags. Yeah, one thing uh, that I noticed about the Porsche is you'll notice too whenever you like you drive it so it's the um, whenever you're putting in the clutch it's a lot it's a lot further as in like this one is very sensitive you barely push it and then you can go like that one you'll feel you like you okay. have to push it in and it goes all the way is it a long throw or yeah it feels like a long okay, throw so it's, it's, it's all right i have a 1990 accord and that throw is like that big okay <laughs> it's yeah the shortest throw ever. dips are terrifying to any car enthusiast <laughs> Yeah, I, 
I know. I, I wanted to lower this, and I'm like, nope, not right now. I, it's I, not that. It's not high. It's it's pretty low mm -hmm. as it is. Yeah. If anything, I'd want the sway bars off of the one at least. That's what. That's my next one. That would be nice. This is the run I like a lot, and that Focus ST was the happiest car I've ever driven on this road because it's it's just so darty. Yeah. The steering rack is like overly quick. I've never driven a Focus, but uh, I was in Finland over the summer and we rented a Ford Fiesta RS. And oh, the ST. Oh, the ST. Sorry. Yeah, um, yeah. I'm thinking about this car for some reason. Yeah. And that thing's that, fun. That thing, yeah, it's it's a little rally car. It <laughs> has some yeah. kick to it. That thing would probably actually be even more darty on this road because it's uh, 2,700 pounds. Yeah. But yeah, for being a Camaro, this is the only car, but this is the only road where I'm just like, I think my car could keep up with really any Camaro because it's so tight. Oh yeah. And there's so there's not that much weight over the front end. That's one thing that I noticed about this car uh, in the handling. Um, yeah. Whenever, like you can really rip it around corners. Yeah, know? it's fine. Yeah. It's really fine. This changes direction pretty quick and if I had the sway bars, it would be not as much body roll. Yeah. Too. See, like this would be a little bit more scary in my Porsche. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna do the Porsche on this road. But uh, once I get new tires, then it's everything's gonna be better. I review like my close friends' cars on this road because I've driven them multiple times. Yeah, but this is a little sketchy, especially going quick like this. But I, I mean, I, I do, I go on this road. I mean, every every few days. <laughs> I just I just love this little thing. It's uh, it's a little sketchy because the road is very small. It seems very narrow. Like. Yeah, it's like someone painted a line down the middle of a one-way road. Yeah. It's like, ah, it'll be fine. <laughs> People will Two dually trucks coming this way, whatever. Yeah, I know. It's like, I, I wouldn't want to drive the Challenger or anything on this road. Oh, jeez. That's, yeah. Nothing like that, dude. That's Mercedes S class. <laughs> yeah. So, I know that you, you might be a little biased because you have a Camaro, but out of like the top three, um, what, like, if you, if you had the money to choose something new, would you get a Camaro again, a Mustang, or a Challenger? Can I pick any model? Yes. My favorite car ever, dude. Under under like $150,000 and down, Shelby GT350. Okay, yeah. I love the hell out of that car. If you go to the uh, the Temecula, um, the Cars and Coffee, they, they have one there. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I saw an R there too. Yeah. That is the best, that's like the best sounding car I've ever heard next to like a F12 Berlinetta Ferrari. And um, I like that it revs to 8250. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's a really exotic engine to be in that car for that price point. Yeah. And um, uh, the handling, I mean, it's the only production car with carbon fiber wheels. So I bet the turn in is probably as happy as like a freaking Fiesta ST. Yeah. With all that unsprung weight. And yeah. if you like watch like, um, the like track videos or anything they usually beat the, the z01 yeah yeah um the one le beats it but that thing is quick and everyone says that it feels nicer mm -hmm. we'll flip it here how is the turn radius on this because i feel really like it'd good. be like i felt like it would have been big no it's not because the wheel like turns in on itself it's weird okay it, yeah this thing's uh my 1990 accord turns like a boat it's like casting mass dude I, it doesn't turn this is such a huge car but it turns in really yeah. well i don't know if all the the models do that but there we go <laughs> <laughs> we have a little pile back there all my poor tires just put tires on it. Such a great time in the world to like American cars. There's so many good ones. I, I like the Charger Hellcat just because it's like it's a sedan. Yeah. That's awesome that you can There's use so it like that. Um, I like the Z01. I mean, it's it's just good at everything. It's a nice middle ground. And then GT350, even especially the R, total mm -hmm. sports car. I've heard people compare that steering to like a Porsche GT3 RS. People say it's it's that good. Man. Um, and then above that, I mean, shoot, dude, I wouldn't trade any car for that except for like a like a 570s McLaren. Yeah, I love McLaren. I would take a 570s. Dude, they're cool. Oh man, uh, the new 720s. The 720s, oh, yeah, I was God. about to say that. It's so I, fast. I saw one driving around really? um, in Temecula. Yeah, I only saw it once. So I was in, and I was like, that is such a gorgeous car. Yeah, yeah, it's good. Yeah, I mean the. Older, like the 675s and the 650, like they're not old by any means, yeah, but no, a couple of years. Awesome. But and even those, which is beautiful, obviously the P1, yeah, just master. All of their, um, their cars are their power to weight ratio off the charts. Mm -hmm. They're the only manufacturer doing like sub 3,000 pound cars that are really fast, yeah, because even Ferrari and Lamborghini, they're all like 3,300 pounds. 
granted it's a four cylinder. But, yeah, but, I mean they might have a slightly larger engine. Yeah, but. a lot. <laughs> New Viper, 8.4 liter. Oh yeah, I wouldn't want a Viper though. I've heard they're very like okay, so track performance is outstanding, but just. If I had the money to have a track car as well as a daily driver, then I'd like possibly consider it. But just as a daily driver, I've heard they're awful. They're just so stiff. They're yeah, just... and the st steering's really heavy. Yeah, I like the concept of it. I like Vipers a lot. Um, I like the TA the best, the orange one, and it's uh, they adjusted the suspension and to where it's not like awful. <laughs> but when the new Viper first came out, it was just like the old one. It was just sketchy as hell. Yeah. Just big motor, but uh, then they came out the TA, and then they came out the ACR, which is like really perfect for track use. This thing masks speed and so much. I can feel, I can feel this speed though. Yeah, like it, it just, it does everything very calmly. And I love how like confident it is around turns. Oh, it is. Yeah, that is nice about it. I like cars that like are crazy, like the ST and Focus RS and older cars too. But it is nice knowing that this. Okay. <laughs> There's, a, there's your Porsche again. Yeah. There's a lot of those out here. It's nice knowing how safe you can do things in this car. Yeah. The limits are and very like, approachable. It's, it's weird because, yeah, it's a muscle car, but it has the performance of a track car, yet the capabilities of like a daily driver. Yeah, it, it does everything really well. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm a chill looking for Looking at second. your car in that mirror, it's looking pretty sexy. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh, I, I never noticed that. That blue color is so great, especially with the black rims. It just, it's perfect. Oh, I guess I should probably do that too. Yeah, I was thinking <laughs> that. Yeah, I like. I, I had silver, the chrome rims on here, and I'm like, dude, black would be perfect. Yeah. It, would, it would look kind of one le ish. Why'd you decide uh, uh, like matte it. versus um, gloss? Um, I like matte finishes on things. I like wraps that are matte too. Oh yeah. But uh, it's just easier. To just get it done like that. Yeah, because I mean, I know at least like, I could use Glossifier, but it still doesn't make it yeah. quite glossy. It's yeah, not, that's what I was thinking. Like, there's two extra steps if you want to have them glossed. And so it's just, <laughs> this guy's smart too. The guy behind us. He's just waiting. Yeah, he's like, dude, there's no point. No one wants to be on this hill. I don't want to be on that there's hill. Such a big incline. You're just. I'm gonna wait. And we'll chill right here. All right, I you know what? That's gonna wrap it up for now. Instead of wasting all the batteries and stuff, but yeah, that was fun. Good car talks. So you wanna hit the yeah, button? Finish.